Okay, in light of the storm we had over the weekend, we would like to reiterate that the city of Long Beach joins with hundreds of neighboring coastal communities in calling on state and federal agencies to take action and help protect us. The flooding we have been experiencing is a far-reaching regional and global issue, and the city administration has repeatedly stepped up and stated that the routine flooding that has been common in our city for decades prior to Superstorm super Sandy is unacceptable. Since it, Sandy, we have initiated large-scale resiliency and sustainability projects like the 177 million fully funded, full, fully federally funded Army Corps of Engineers Peak Protection Project with the goal of reducing the city's vulnerability to storms and flooding. On our base, I have secured more than 32 million in state and federal funding for bulkheads. We have secured 8 million for stormwater improvements to help us combat the heavy rainfall. We have installed 30 feet high fresh valves. We have infused 4 million in rebuilding and improving our water system, 5.5 million in upgrading and repairing our sewer system, and nearly 1.4 million in upgrading our storm system. Uh, so all in all, we've been doing uh, quite a bit. We do have remediation projects planned for the remaining intersections that, that we now identify as well as are prone to flooding. The City of Long Beach, in partnership with the Office of New York State, Senator Todd Kaminsky, has been awarded $250,000 in grant funding through the New York State Community Capital Assistance Program. As part of this grant, 25 new pages were purchased for the Long Beach Fire Department. And as you can see, they work well because we cleared up the room pretty quickly. Uh, we also received a $2.5 million grant for our wastewater treatment plant, which we are hoping uh, to complete that entire project. We will be sending our sewage to uh, Bay Park, and then that will go out to Cedar Creek and then out into the ocean. Uh, we had an illegal rental uh, at 142 East Market. The person had seven different families living in the one up to one house. Uh, and the person was fined $7,500 for violating, violating the city's zoning and building codes. We take that very seriously. We do have a, uh, a, a police building department partnership where we do uh, do investigations and make arrests for this. Uh, so we're, we're being very aggressive to make sure that the houses are uh, used at their zone. Uh, the city is now accepting applications for the 200, 2018 summer special program. Applications may be obtained from the Traffic Division. We're also finishing up a food drive with the City Clerk's Office, and we've got many, many pounds of food. Uh, so this ends tomorrow, and if you haven't given, please do so. Uh, as an aside, you can buy cookies from a Girl Scout downstairs, make them happy, and then put it right in the box for the, for the need. So it, it could work for everyone. And over the weekend, in just an eight hour period, the Long Beach Police arrested five EWI subjects. Again, uh, we are the most prolific of the smaller jobs in Nassau and Suffolk County. Uh, we, we're also being, uh, the Women's Police Department being awarded by MED for our continued uh, vigilance in eradicating the crime.